Okay. Uh, I'm, playing, I'm playing the lead match here. It's uh, here, Kamoma. Or. So, um, and, uh, yeah, the ones, there's the reason I guess we're going to call them not at quite an ideal time, but, uh, that's all right. Um, the, the idea is it's not the greatest time for both of us, but it's kind of when we intersect, so, uh, this board has cursed him, which makes it kind of a cursed board. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to probably start Enchantress Magpie, though. Um, I'm not like that into, I guess the, well, Hamlet's a cantrip. I'm, I'm just trying to think, like, is Enchantress gonna mess with stuff? Like, if, like, I guess if Cursed were on Tracker, um, Enchantress would be a bit scarier, but it's not. Um, there's Trashman Crucible. I'm not sure how important, like, anything other than just, like, Magpie your way up is gonna be. Unfortunately, um, you can't really do like any sort of hard draw, uh, so things become a little bit less appealing. Um, I'm actually really unsure about the Enchantress over uh, Hamlet open, but I am pretty confident in the Magpie. Um, my targets for next shuffler maybe like another, well, it's more Magpies potentially, maybe like a Crucible. Um, maybe a Hamlet. I'm not sure when to start throwing in the, start throwing in the loots. At some point you do need them though. Uh, again, just because there's not the hard draw, you're, you're definitely tending a bit more towards, uh, something money-ish looking here. Um, probably will be buying farm over gold in virtually all cases. Uh, that seems probable, uh, just because we should have, you know, things that are giving plenty of coins from the, from the Hamlets. Okay, so this will be another en second Enchantress, um, especially since we're going to shuffle next turn. No. Like, like, look at this. Like, five's not doing, five's not doing you much, right? This is a scouting party, maybe by another enchantress. Okay. Uh, somehow I'm playing all my stuff every turn and gaining magpies while I'm at it, so that's kind of incredible. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take the crucible right here. This isn't like great stuff, but uh, I don't think there's, I don't think there's another way about it. I sure would like to have, you know, all the magpies possible. Pretty incredible start. Okay, now now it's looking a little bit less incredible. Um, there's already two magpies and enchantress in here. I'm just not sure what I would do on five other than like buy another magpie. Um, I'm trying to think like of how likely I am to shuffle next turn. I can always scouting party next turn if need be. Um, like it, like it might just be time to to pick up to pick up the Hamlet. Uh, let's do it this way. Yeah, that was mostly good stuff, but okay, so it's nice. So it's really nice, actually. Almost an almost an ideal loot. Um, probably I want a scouting party here. Uh, there are no magpies in there. Um, two enchantresses will leave the hamlet for sure. Um, and I think we're just going to grab more magpie. I guess I could also do another scouting party and then like an enchantress or something. Um, but, as I say, two enchantresses in there, I think we're, I think we're good. Well, 
Look, I don't I don't think you're actually you're actually like doing anything resembling drawing here. What is it? Chalice? That's not terrible. Maybe not what you would have wanted, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it's not terrible. I think I've actually seen all my junk, which means I'm gonna get to buy another magpie here, which is great. Puzzle box, that's a bit better. This sucks. Yeah, it was, this is this is a little bit less what we were hoping to see. Um, you know, I, I do like to see my good cards rather than all my bad ones. It is notable that you've actually cleared out all three estates at this point, so um, that might be that might be putting me a little bit in a in a bad spot, uh, especially when I'm trying to consider like how these turns are going. <laughs> Let's just take Magpie and maybe another Hamlet. Orb is orb's good. Orb's good. Um, that is not what we like to see. We like to see that. Yeah. Um, trash the curse. Do we take another? Do we take another Cursed Hamlet, or are we going to pick up another Enchantress? It's a, I think those are like real options. I think I think right now I'm kind of liking the extra Enchantress just because I don't really feel like we're going to be drawing enough, and I feel like I probably already have enough loot in the deck. Um, and now I just want to green like every single time, every single turn. Uh, whether that's Farm Province Duchy, probably Farm Province, preferably. Um, you actually are getting pretty close to, stunningly close to a uh, drawn deck. I mean, you are you are significantly thinner, so it's not overly surprising, I don't think. Um, but I think I think it's just time to start greening. Like I don't I don't think the deck's getting any better. And, and trying to get like a consistent double out is probably somewhat of a dream. Um, potentially you can get like an inconsistent double with Crucible. Um, I'm just not quite sure what Crucible would be going on to, to do that right now. Um, a little interesting. Or if I want to pig one of the Enchantresses. Hmm. I'm also I'm also not so sure that what I'm talking about where I just start reading from here on out is actually something that can happen. Um, just realistically. And if you cut by in Hamlets, I think we're starting to look at piles being close enough that that's a little bit scary. Um, which I guess is maybe part of the other motivation of greening. Like any more building that you're going to do here is just going to lower stuff to to a point where you kind of start wondering whether you can do anything about it. Yeah, I think you'd be better off puzzle boxing a copper out and buying farm here. I think that's just better than Enchantress. Let's see. You know, might regret that decision. Wow, look, it's all my cards. Um, that was real, real bad. Um, it's actually making me look at doing scouting parties here, uh, just because next turn is looking fairly ugly. Um, like what is in there? 
right now. Uh, like I, I want to take farm, but I guess it's a bunch of loot. Or two loot. So so we can actually uh orb and enchantress back. Alright, we're we're good with fun. Yeah. Um That was ugly. Magpies are just hitting nothing. And you seem plenty consistent. We've gotten two enchantresses out two turns in a row, which looks pretty amazing. So I might have misread this one a bit. That's that's what I'm thinking right now. Um, yeah. I guess there's also going to be some like difficulty here where if I do want to orb the enchantress, I might not be able to hit eight. But I also don't really want to shuffle, so it kind of goes both ways. Right? I don't want to shuffle because that'll exclude both the sword and the orb from there. Uh, so it might end up being that I crucible a magpie rather than the estate. I don't really love that idea, but maybe hammer. It's a little frightening. Um, yeah, so let's let's pig the magpie because I don't want to shuffle. Um, I was pretty sure that was a magpie. Uh, so maybe we're gonna crucible the curse. The crucible curse. No, we're crucible estate. Play enchantress by farm. State, Orb, Enchantress, Sword, I Farm. I mean, this is this is what our deck does. Is this is this is it? I mean, <laughs> what do you get out of the? I don't even like process it. I was almost ready. It was Hammer. Um, hammer's fine. It's like, it's a loot. Uh, you might favor, um, that's it. Um, maybe you're getting like crucibles, uh, just under the idea that that's how you're going to continue hitting A for an extended period of time. Uh, you know, trash magpie, even trash. One of the loot. I'm gonna say this game. This game does not feel. This game feels pretty bad right now. Uh, but we'll try to make it through. Okay. There goes a province. All right. Um, let's see, sword, orb, I'm having trouble counting here, I guess I can crease a bit of copper, it'd be okay, and I mean, I think we want to, that's both the loots, but, so it goes, um, You're still hitting eight. That's annoying. Annoying. It looks like this turn might be a little bit lackluster, but still, it still made it. Um, chalice power. I mean, I'd, I'd love to have chalice. Just 
having that extra coin every turn seems substantial to me. Lux. Do I keep buying farms? I mean, I think so. Like, at some point, I'm going to have to have you miss, which we'll see how much that can actually happen. Um, I could try to put in a crucible. I don't really want to trigger this shuffle with a scouting party, so I'm going to just do this. Fall in business. Uh, I is getting that pile maybe a little bit lower than I'd like. Trying, trying not to panic about the fact that you're going to buy a province every single turn, but at the same time you're going to buy a province every single turn, and I, I can't win. And if you do that, I, I like my my deck does not have the power to do enough. It just doesn't. I'm going to count counter too many coppers. I can't keep up. Um, you know. Make me feel like I I did I did substantially misread this one. There's still a chance that we're able to like pull something out with a uh, crucible and something amazing, but uh, does not feel great. Uh, I guess we want to go Hamlet first. It's kind of a weird feeling, but... Well, this looks okay. I don't have an Enchantress out, which is terrible. Um, I don't know if I can just afford to just, just buy a province. Um, like, like, should this could this be a scouting party, or what? Or, or does it need to be, I don't know, a state? Try to keep up on points. Let's see. You buy province, I buy province, you buy province, you win. So maybe this actually wanted to be double duchy. A duchy farm. Double duchy. I guess I need it to be double duchy. Right? But you buy province, I could potentially double. Everything goes amazingly. Let's, let's aim for that. Do I actually want to lose the province? Like that's that's my that's my ticket to double. Mm. Mm. Let's see. Well, maybe you'll just be able to double and then uh, with it without any without any milling help. Seems plausible. Well, I definitely missed on this one. I mean, I, I didn't think Enchantress was going to... I didn't think, like, getting a bunch of Enchantress that was going to be at all viable, and clearly it has been. Um, I wonder if I could have, like, managed to green earlier? I don't think so. More Hamlets probably doesn't help. Hmm? Oh well. Maybe I'll get no enchantresses out. That would be interesting. It would make things interesting. Because, like, if, if you don't get any enchantresses out, it means your next hand's really actually extremely unlikely to be able to reach province. Um, not that I'm going to claim that mine is or anything, but. Uh, I mean, what? You only have five of them. You could bottom deck two and ten cards. Right? I guess you have six. I mean, you have six. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Might only be the one. It is only the one. If you're gonna be... Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, that's the, that's the move we were. That's the move we, I guess, we were worried about. Um... I mean, you've seen all the loot. I have a crucible in here still, I think. 
So let's go ahead and draw that. Um, this would be six. I could just buy duchy. Like, I'm going to need multiple turns here, right? So, um, probably we just take our four points right here. And see. Like I think I think there's worlds where oh no, Crucible's gonna Crucible's gonna ruin any any chances you have of missing. Alright, and I mean I think you did need it. <laughs> um, oh well. Yeah, I don't know. Um the Enchantress stuff, I mean, you got a lot thinner, and the Enchantress stuff worked a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I thought that was going to be an ugly game, and it ended up being actually kind of pretty game over there. Um, so, that was, that was definitely not the most uh, amazing outcome for me. Uh, there is Gamble Souk. How do you play Gamble Souk with uh, stuff around? I'm not sure. Um, Cardinal seems maybe okay to add. Vassal seems maybe okay to add. Um, I mean, that's, that's, that's the game to start out with, at least. There's, like, nothing else you really need to be doing. Um, maybe at some point this gets a little bit funky because you can, like, add Mastermind. Uh, not a huge fan of being second player, I'm gonna say. How's it? I, I, like, I don't know. Do you, do you play with Cardinal? Probably not. Do you play with Vassal? Maybe? Oh, in addition to Gamble Souk, there's Rush Souk. So that actually is maybe gonna happen sooner than the Gamble stuff. Almost certainly happens sooner than the Gamble stuff, and, and I mean, you just, you just pile the Souks as soon as you can. Um. So, like, we're gonna open silver, silver, I guess. Ugh. And I mean, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna empty Suk as soon as we can. Cause that's, that's a lot of the game. I guess, like, silver, yeah, it's just gotta be silver, silver. If we hit seven, you hit like two silvers, three coppers, you just win immediately. That's exciting. I guess the opponent could like try to mastermind Cardinal a bunch, but... Eh. I don't know, maybe Cardinal. Maybe. Let's go with it. Plausibly silver. Like I, I don't really want to gamble into this, just given knowing knowing that the cardinal and silver are both in there, um, and there's the potential to mostly win the game. Uh, on the other hand, you're looking at two coppers here, which is terrifying. Um, like you, you have a much better chance of hitting seven potentially than I do. Not sure how true that is. Uh, I think silver's better than nothing. Okay. Well, the cardinal's gone. Um, we're definitely buying Suk. There, there is, there is no other option. If those two are coppers, you should just go ahead and win the game immediately. Which would suck, but that's that's what this board is. That's what this board is. Um, just just like given everything, there is yeah, okay. I'm I'm lost. If you keep doing it. <sighs> well, that sucked. <sighs> I 
niin. <laughs> the first game, I feel like there there was something that maybe I don't know, some something that could have happened, but this that that game there wasn't anything uh, to do. It was it was that was that was the game. Um, all right. Uh, let's see. We have some draw to X cursed village. We have bridge troll payload. Uh, we do have trashing, so it's actually like somewhat possible to to make that work, which means we probably want to start with the trashing. Um, that will be crucible, and it will come with a silver. Uh, that displaces also, I guess, trashing. I don't know if you'd prefer it over crucible on a five. I guess you probably would. Um, at some point, we may want it just because it can clear copper. Uh, maybe a little bit better once we have some bridge trolls. Um, oh gosh. Um, I don't know whether we want to go patron or another crucible here. I'm kind of thinking I'm liking another crucible actually a little bit more in the interest of getting thin for bridge troll stuff. Okay, apparently we're going to get to do both because in this world we do not hit five and we do not trash estates. Um... On the other hand, I guess you don't either, so that's not the worst thing. Well, it's bad, but it's not the worst. Okay, um, what do we want to do first? Probably Cursed Village. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking Cursed Village wants to come before the Bridge Troll. Is that true at all? I mean, I'd like to draw, but... Mm. No bridge troll first. Like if I if I manage not to hit if I manage not to hit five again, which which do I want more? That that's the that's the question I was asking. Um, which I mean I didn't. Uh, so now let's pick up a farming village. This is ugly. Um, that gets play. That gets play. I don't really need another silver, do I? Um, do I need another bridge troll, or would I like to put a cursed village into this shuffle? I'm about to play farming village, which makes me feel a little bit bad. Well, no, I have I have the uh, villager from patrons. Another bridge troll, just fine, just fine. Um, this is going to fail to find a state, which is amazing for this crucible. I don't know if I want to stall out the shuffle or not. I mean, what, what, what gets to go in it if I, if I don't? Um, this farming village is likely to find copper. And then I hit three. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'd really like to have a, Cursed village in, I guess, as opposed to the farming village. Let's do it. Um, ugh, greed. That stinks. Maybe I want horse traders. No, I don't get horse traders. Maybe we just pay off the, the coin. I guess that's how it's going. Uh, both crucibles in the same hand. That's amazing. These draws have really sucked for both of us. This is gross. I could ditch the patron, I guess. I don't really want to, but I could. Uh, assuming I actually want to hit a number. I think I do. Uh, three? What am I hitting three for? Undo that. I don't need to hit three. I don't even really need to hit two, right? We're just trashing copper and calling it a day. The last card is this other bridge troll, isn't it? That's disgusting. Kind of. Maybe we just need to trash. We just need to trash. That's what needs to happen here. 
Um, I think I'll pick up another bridge troll right now. This is, again, the crucibles are missing, missing estates. Uh, I guess I could pick up a displace instead. But, like, why? Uh, I guess to, to have a higher chance of trashing the estates. Like, I'm not shuffling next turn, right? Mm. And this is just going to be trash two coppers. Oh man, you got two bridge trolls out. That's bad. That's bad. Mm. <laughs> Not gonna, not gonna mince it. Um, this game is, this game is looking bad. You have, you have much more effective turns than I do. Um, this could be a bridge troll for you. I think. I mean, if, if it can be, maybe it is. I'm also not really sure what you're looking at in hand. Okay, apparently not enough to... Alright, let's keep thinning. Keep thinning. Um, I guess the hope is to pick up like a bunch of Cursed Village and maybe to displace it once. Um... So that's what I'd like to do. Uh, good news is your next hand shouldn't be terribly effective. Uh, I can trash copper and still hit four, right? Five bridge troll. Whoa, look at this hand. You get to trash out an estate, that's amazing. I don't know that it's the most convincing uh, outcome ever, but I did play two bridge trolls, and I do have a cursed village coming in. So, yeah, depending. Did you not find a bridge troll? That would be amazing, because I don't think you have any more village. You don't have any more village. I'd sure like those last two bridge trolls if I can get my hands on them. Or at least one of them. <laughs> It'd make my life a whole lot easier this game to, to not lose the bridge troll split. And this hand isn't like the most, the most inspiring that that's gonna happen, I, I will admit, but. I wasn't even able to clear the, the minus coin token last turn. Jeez. <laughs> it would be really amazing if this cursed village drew two bridge trolls. I'm just gonna say. Well, one's not terrible. Um. All right. What am I doing? Uh, if I play both of these coppers, I can buy a bridge troll. I'd kind of like to do that. And we're going to try to live, I guess, without villager. Are we going to trash the crucible and grab a, a farming? We're trashing the crucible and grabbing a farming. All right. Whoops, I don't know how patron works. There we go. Oh, uh, let's just take the last one. I mean, having six bridge trolls seems so much better than having five, right? 
That's my theory, any or having, yeah, having four. That's my theory, anyways, and we're gonna stick to it. All right, now I have to now I have to put in the uh, the cursed villages. Um, we probably just take like at least one right here. Okay, that didn't do anything too scary. I guess we could also run it like farming village library or wall village library. Uh, if I wanted to. Uh, maybe we pick up a displace. That seems good. Uh, patron, horse traders. I think that is really appropriate right now. I think we're going to go after the search space on, that is, play patron first. Yeah. For certain. Like, it's nice to have a villager, but I just want to see as many cards as possible. This uh, this hand is not exactly conducive to seeing that many cards if I just play the Cursed Village first. Okay, I, well, I want to be able to play stuff before the second Cursed Village. Um, that was net help, I think. And I might have discarded the Cursed Village and Farm. You may be looking at a kind of overturned multi hand there, although the villager is in there. And you are, I guess, substantially thinner than I am. Okay. Um Yeah, so we can we can displace the copper probably into displace. Uh that seems Probably the best move. Um, seven buys. Oh, I could have just displaced into something and won the game. That's disappointing. Uh, yeah, that, that is kind of disappointing. Um, in that case, I guess I'm trashing copper. Uh, four bridge trolls out. Let's just take like uh, province, some village. We can do libraries instead of cursed village. I mean, we have we have the village space. Uh, do I need a horse traders? I don't know. Do I need duchy? I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, like, how do you province? Right. The main the main objective here is don't like don't lose. Um, so I think that's fine. Cursed village can lead to losing. Other things can lead to losing. We'll do we'll do like a kind of a game management uh, bit. Okay, the, the the terminals that we thought might be coming did. Um, I'm just I'm just going for like load your hand with infinite villages, load your deck with infinite villages, and what can go possibly go wrong. Uh, this is already in hand, isn't it? I just displace it to a village, and then I win. Yeah, having having six bridge trolls is a is a good thing. Um, our draws, both of our draws at the start, they're just god awful. Um, and I guess I eventually came out on the better end of that. All right. Um, oh gosh, this has this has a lot of fun cards, doesn't it? 
I guess we start Courtyard Silver uh, with the idea we want to get like Wharf in various villages. Um, I mean, this this is like the like weirdest standard board. Like there there's no trashing, <laughs> um, which is why I'm I'd like maybe be thinking about Banco for Wharf if there were, but I'm, I'm not. Uh, Wharf looks really important. Eventually, you have to be buying gold. Um, maybe it'll work, make it work with horse traders, but eventually, you have to be buying gold. Horse traders might end up being just a little bit cheaper because there's so much village. Uh, I don't actually know how much village you're gonna get. Like, there's no uh, easy way to gain them. Poor house looks terrible because you know no trashing. Um, I guess I'll match whatever you buy on three, unless it's like poor house. Uh, whether it's courtyard or silver, just to not give something away. Um, courtyard silver should hit like five four, which would be wharf plus probably minstrel. Um, I guess it's not necessarily going to hit five four, but it it can. Horse traders, okay. I mean, I guess the idea there is it does produce a little bit of extra econ uh, to start out with. Makes you fairly likely to hit five. I just, I just don't know that it's not better than draw. Um, I'm actually considering advisor here. Uh, like, I'm gonna shuffle next turn and hit five. Right. I don't really need the village yet. We could also insert horse traders right here, acknowledging the shuffle. Um, right. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, let's have the courtyard miss and let's completely miss five and lose the game. That's the other option, right? Um, definitely, definitely what I was looking for right there. So much what I was looking for. <sighs> um, this could get this could get ugly. This could get ugly. Um, I'm gonna start picking up advisors uh, just because like I I don't have the draw. Um, next turn is gonna be minstrel. It's gonna go. No, I need I need a I need a village. I need a village in this shuffle. I guess I could also not shuffle. That's the other option. Um, but I think I put myself in a better position if I do. <sighs> I mean, at some point you have to be buying villages, right? Over just more wharves? Probably not. Oh, okay, that's, that's going to be the village as it happens. Um, All right, I did get a wharf. That is good. That is good. So we might be we might be functional. Um, your next turn is going to be good. It's horse fueled. Um, hard to say how much we need the horses and how much we can just uh, work with minstrels. Um, draw it might not be much of a problem, but. That also might be. Honestly, I think you should just be picking up another wharf. Although, can you actually play three? Or do you want to play three? Mm. Um, well, missing wharf. Um, could banquet. We could also do the hostelry thing. I kind of do just want another wharf, though. Like... What can go wrong buying all the wars in the world? Terminal space? Who needs that? Uh, I guess I could also go like courtyard hostelry. Um, I'm just I'm just trying to consider like, yeah, maybe we do courtyard hostelry. I mean, we have Minstrel Warp on top, so it's mostly a matter of like, how do I, how do I think I'm going to draw? 
And do I need more village? The answer is I'm sure yes, especially if I'm picking up another courtyard. All right, we play both wars. We better buy a wharf this turn, at least one. I'd really like to buy two, I'm gonna admit. I'm a big, big fan of buying two multiple wars. I guess my other hope is that Minstrel can just kind of out beast, beast, be, be, be the beast that it is and, and make this turn come true. Um, oh god, do I want the search? No, I don't need the search space, I'm playing horse. Um, does this hit 10? If I top deck a horse, yes. So it's going to top deck a horse and just buy two wharves. That seems pretty good. What could go wrong? I'm drawing. Now we need money. <laughs> uh, I am down a silver compared to you. Uh, on the other hand, I think I'm much better drawing, maybe? That might not actually be true. Like, you're drawing deck out this turn. It did take some horses, so I'm not gonna say... I mean, you have one horse left. But, but, but presumably you can, you can, you can get enough draw in the deck right here that you don't need to worry about that anymore, and I'm just behind. Um. Yeah. No, no, no more horses coming in over there. Uh, you banquet. I think banquet for wharf. That seems reasonable, actually. I don't know that more plus buy actually is that valuable here, although estates will go at some point kind of soonish. Um, I'm gonna go, I, I might actually banquet for that wharf, uh, just because it's like a payload add. Um, as weird as that sounds. Um, there is a village in there that I would really like to have. Uh, how's this work? Well, we gotta, we gotta play everything. I mean, that's, that's how the deck works. Um, alright, so if I'm banqueting for this wharf, uh, let's see here. I'm banking for this wharf, maybe buying a hostelry. Do I want anything else? Swamp shacks seems okay. I could add a silver in exchange for some number of horses. That's my that's my next idea. Um I guess the other thing with banqueting for wharf is I don't necessarily need to be uh banquet for wharf, hostelry for one horse, minstrel. Hostelry for one horse, minstrel or swamp shacks? I think it's still gotta be minstrel. And I sure hope I draw a village. That would that would really ruin my day if I didn't. Um, The banquet is like a payload out as much as it was the lower cost thing. Like it could have also gone maybe like straight up wharf, wharf hostility, silver, wharf minstrel silver, something like that. I think this ends up working out a bit better. I, I was, I mean, I was, I was feeling the, I was feeling the village crunch last turn, so. Even with the wharfs coming out, the consistency kind of desired more villages.
At some point, I do want Swamp Shacks again. We will want Swamp Shacks. Um, we're not actually particularly close to piling anything. We're both at seven buys, so the Estates is probably out, which means provinces are in. Um, something still could come around, but I kind of doubt it. I think we're doing okay given the start. Um, the courtyard missing just sucked so much. Um, that was not the that was not the idea. Uh, opening courtyard silver like like that's that's something that you that you do expect to hit five. Uh, maybe you should trigger a shuffle when maybe the five isn't in it, but but it is something you expect to hit five. Gold is, gold is expected. I think I wouldn't be like at all surprised if it just came with a province. Uh, you do have enough draw, and I don't know that you're going to do much better than double here. Um, you're hitting, what, 17 now? Which maybe you want it up to 18? I don't know. I wonder if I should be taking Mining Village instead of... Like if I if I feel like I'm needing more village, is mining village the way to go on that? Even over swamp shacks. We will determine at a later date. Uh hold this hostelry for just a moment. Um, how much crap is in there? Probably a lot of crap, uh, including a silver that I kind of do need. All right, well, here's our 14. Um, I too would like a gold. I would like to add one swamp shacks and one horse traders. Are we really just going to match it out? Uh, acknowledging that I do have to draw a tiny bit more than you to make everything work. I don't know that I'm really getting it... Well, I'm not getting it done at this point. I actually don't have enough village space for all my draw. Uh, not that that's like causing any sort of major problems yet, but... Realistically, I don't. Um, so maybe I actually just go two golds on this, or I go gold province. Like right now, what are you hitting? You're hitting um, 20. What's 20 going to do you? Maybe we'll just match it. Um, And then I'm guessing I'm just going to like fully dud out somehow because my villages are all going to hide at the bottom or something. Um, that, is, that is a thing that can happen in this deck. You're not seriously thinking about hostility, are you? Like, they're drawing so, so much. If I'm gaining more villages, again, I think I want them to be mining villages from here on, uh, just to give the potential to put out a little bit of extra coins on some determining turn. Um, 
Maybe just double province mining village? I don't know. Well, I guess this turn I can play play everything. I, I only have to play two dwarves. Right. We are up to eight. We are up to eight buys, uh, which means the states can go if something else runs. I don't think we're going to make anything else get anywhere close to running, but it is worth uh, noting. Trying not to stress out about this hand. There's three wars coming in, should be okay. There's three wars coming in, should be okay. <sighs> Just tell yourself, there's three wars coming in, it should be okay. I do need another village for next turn. Regardless. Um, I guess the thing that can happen if you double province and don't like... Well, if you double province is that I can theoretically pull in like double province mining village and then that can outpace whatever you do. Um, I mean, I think I want to be double provincing this turn, like, regardless of whether you do more or not. I'm trying to think of the theoretical, like, if you go up to triple, like, I'm still happy to double right now, because I still beat that. Uh, the, the one question would be, like, I, I can't actually then, uh, well, I guess I could banquet for Mining Village, that would be the, that would be the move. And that would get me up to a theoretical triple if I were to draw everything, which at that point, maybe not, but we can pretend it could happen still. So that 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 I think will be my move. Um, that's that's how I put my deck in a position where triple province is something that it can do. Okay, I'm gonna try to hold back on playing this minstrel if possible. I think I can do that. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to go province, province, banquet for mining village. Whatever. Banquet's cooler. Banquet's so much cooler. Ooh, it's a dud. Um, so you have 22. Um, now what? Like if you don't province and I triple, you are okay. Well, we'll have to do, we'll have to do the calculations. Um, you have twenty two. So if I triple, I don't think you can beat that. So let's try to triple. We do not manage to triple. I could not draw all the copper. 
Um, you have 22. If I have double province duchy, can you beat that? No. Uh, we came up three coppers short, which, you know, I, I wasn't actually going to calculate out the draw to see if it could happen. Um, so if I double province duchy, the best you can do is actually still double province duchy by my calculations. Uh, so that seems like something I can do. And we'll hope that somehow this manages to draw. Um, you didn't get any wharves out, so it's not like your turn's not easy by any means. Okay. Um, this time you got one wharf out. So if I can, if I can province here, I probably win. Uh, which given that most of my junk is copper, you know, bringing in six extra cards here, you know, that seems like it could possibly happen. Um, play Corey Guard first, right? Am I there yet? Yeah, I'm there. Okay. Firm autoplay, province, province. All right. Well, the one dud killed you. Um, I think I was in good position, anyways. Uh, I guess not, because I couldn't actually triple that one turn. But uh, yeah, the the one dud really, really did, really did kill you. And I don't, I don't even think there was a possible draw where where I could manage to. Uh, this is not a good four. Um. Yeah, what you really want to do is Expedition by Butcher, but that is not happening. So, what are we doing instead? Uh, probably we're going Silver Expedition. Um, and then Butcher into Guardians, that should do a fairly good defense against uh, the, the Sea Witch stuff, although you may still want to play with Sea Witches. Not sure. Um, we could also go like Astrolabe Expedition. I don't think so. Maybe. Maybe we do that instead, because, like, when I go Astrolabe Expedition, I think I'm still fairly likely to hit five off of that. Uh, you know, seven cards, I need to see three estates in order to miss. Uh, and then potentially Astrolabe gets out of the shuffle. Next shuffle. Uh, so that actually seems pretty viably good. Um... Yeah. I don't know that I really want to be having silver around. Now, well, it's not terrible. It's not amazing, but... Um, so, the question is, buy astrolabe, buy silver. What the decision? I guess the advantage of silver is even if you draw three estates, you could possibly still uh, hit five. On the other hand, the astrolabe turn gets out of the shuffle. How big of a shuffle is it? Like, like, is it actually good to to avoid having that happen? Um, it's a pretty big shuffle, so it's probably a good thing. All right. I have convinced myself Astrolabe is the way to go. Oh. Well. Be that way. No expedition needed. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> okay, well, we hit our five, which will be um, Butcher, I think. Maybe it's Den. I don't know. Um, it's one of the two. Um, I have three coins coming in. There's going to be one, and then there's going to be, like, three more cards. I, I guess I could be going den. Um, that's fairly likely to hit Butcher. Again, how big of a shuffle is it? Uh, six cards. So if I den into it, I'm fairly likely to... Okay, let's let's do the den. Okay, we do we do hit five. That's good. That's good. I'm happy to hit five again. And 
this one will be the butcher. It's got to get in sooner or later. I don't think I wanted a free guardian. Like I'm, 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 I'm hesitant on these guardian things until you know now. I guess. Are we really butchering astrolabe like this soon? Probably. It stinks, but I think it needs to be done. Maybe not. I mean, we could butcher nothing and just buy another den. That would give me the opportunity to go estate to whatever on future turn. Or estate to something like actually substantial. That said, I'm, I'm just, I'm so, so far behind even already. Um, it does it does not it does not look good for me. Um, let's do den, let's buy den guardian. Eh, not really not really into it. Alright, well there's all the dens. I uh I lost that split 6-4, which uh, would be not the worst thing ever if it weren't that I had an astrolabe instead of a buried treasure. <laughs> and I still have one more estate, and uh, what else What else can we say about the situation? <laughs> uh, I missed my butcher this turn, that's, that's another thing we can say about the situation. Um, I don't want to do buy buried treasure, like that's the next best thing after den, isn't it? Or maybe expedition's fine. I don't know. Ooh, you didn't play butcher. That's amazing. Why? Well, I, I, don't, I don't know why you didn't, but... You know. So if this turns into more butcher money, I think I have a chance. If this ends up being uh like sea witch engine on that side, mm. I don't even know if I have a chance on butcher money, but I'm gonna pretend I do. Um Let's go into Minstrel and then buy Sea Witch Buried Treasure. Or I could go into Minstrel and buy Double Expedition Sea Witch also. I guess I could also go into Silver and buy Double Expedition Buried Treasure. Maybe that's bad, just better. I, I mean, I want, I want you to feel like you have to put a Guardian out, although you haven't trashed yours, so... We'll get another Astrolabe. Let's go. And I mean, I'm going to miss my Blitcher anyways. So that's terrific. I mean, I, I just, I mean, I can't play the cards I want to. I'm I'm down considerable amounts of draw relative to you. Um, I'm <laughs> yeah down draw. I think I'm even down buried. No, I'm not even down buried treasures anymore. But it's it's not making me happy where where I'm at. Um. Plausibly, you're going to add a Sea Witch, at which point I have to be playing Guardian each turn. Uh, which, I mean, we can do. It's just potentially going to be an annoyance, significant annoyance at that. Like, one, one Minstrel is just straight up worse than a Passage if you, uh, if you don't buy another action card. 
At least I think it is. That was not that was not my favorite five two to be facing. In fact, it was about my least possible favorite five two to be facing. And it, and it was five. It wasn't it wasn't two five. It was five two. So you got the very treasure in. Uh, but what what can you do? What can you do? I mean, it's like the it's like the suit game. It's just like okay, well, this game's over for reasons. Um, Second butcher. Um, minstrel passage, minstrel expedition, passage expedition, double expedition. Let's see it. I didn't mean I didn't think the minstrel made a whole lot of sense, but okay. Um, we will butcher into a buried treasure, right? And then I'm going to buy not expedition. I'm going to buy passage butcher. Maybe. Um, our passage buried treasure. And you don't even get to play both butchers. Look at that. What a sad turn. This turn's going to be way overloaded, but I do have to buy a bunch of expeditions this turn if I want to maintain like any semblance of the draw I'm getting for it. Uh, weird imbalance, but it's, it's where we are. I mean, I think I have to start greening also. Like, that's that's the chance he's going to be tossing some assorted randomness into the game. Um, Look at you, you don't have enough bad cards for your butcher to hit because you've never had to buy a bad card unlike me. <laughs> it's a little victories, right? Uh, I have so many bad cards to butcher. I guess bad cards that cost something, like you you gladly trash copper to lots of things, except that you don't have enough coffers. Whoa, I think it's my first yawn. Um, we're fighting, we're fighting. Look at all that. Look at all that. Uh, double expedition province. Seems good. Oh man, you drew everything. What a surprise. I wonder if shortening the end of this game would work out. I doubt it. Something to consider, though. Golds. Okay. Well, golds can turn into provinces just fine, right? Um, hmm. Well, I could put a copper on the bottom, play mill, mill province, buy province double expedition again. 
Uh, I'm getting two dens out, so I don't know that the expeditions are as necessary, but also what else am I doing? Yeah, let's tighten things up. Let's go there. Um, province. Two expeditions. I have a one coffer to turn a five into a province. Uh, maybe it would have been better to have, I don't know, done something else. Oh, uh, do you just have this? I guess you just have this. Yeah. Oh well. I think it was my best shot. Uh. Yeah, I mean, it was it was going to be hard. Uh oh, there we go. It was going to be hard uh, off that start. Okay, uh, squirrel time. Um, I am second player who gets the who gets to do a messenger, uh, so that's actually kind of nice. And we'll go like rat catcher, messenger, rat catcher. A uh, longer term. Um, well, you have Squirrel for draw, so, like, this Crown Patrol stuff works, um, Swamp Shacks can be a factor, there's, there's lots of points because of Duke and Bishop, and so, and nothing that I think will ex expedite the end of the game too much. Um... So I mean I think I think this opening on my end seems pretty seems pretty clear. Oh. And then we'll see what we can do. I'm so happy to be able to put the messenger into my deck. I think I said that kind of sarcastically, but it's it's true. And uh, I might still rather be first player, but as a second player goes, it's not the worst. Rat catcher, messenger rat catcher. You might actually do that yourself. I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, what am I messengering? Rat catcher still? Yeah. We'll play both of these and then squeal the messenger. That'll be perfect. We'll be able to uh, trash out two estates and I think I actually even get another squirrel in. If I don't want to shuffle, which maybe I do instead. I think I'm going to want to shuffle. Gives me actually a really decent shot at that last estate. Okay. Um. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe I squirrel this. Now. What I buy. Silver? Shacks? Seriously, shacks? This early? Um, could also discard it by crown. Uh, that's not actually the worst idea ever. As much as it loses me the one estate, um, I think it puts me in decent position to uh, keep uh, squirreling things.
Jeez, which is the real goal. To me at least. That wants to be squirreled. There's no way you have. Oh gosh, okay. There is a way you have five. And that's the way. Um, squirrel, squirrel. Rat catcher again. I don't even know if I want him. I mean, it can't be, it can't be worse than nothing, can it? Can it? Please don't have found like all your crowns. Oh, dang. That's like all your crowns. Well, this game's going poorly. <laughs> that didn't take too long. Um, I need this turn as crowns. I mean, you know, that's 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 a lot where this game is is it's just having crowns. Squirrel. Let's see. If I squirrel this, yeah, it had to be that way. Unfortunately, do I want to trash copper? Or do I want to try to see more cards? I think at this point I can actually maybe just see more cards. I'm also trying to think like how much money am I producing in a perfect turn? Uh, and the answer is maybe not as much as I would like. I mean, I'm more trashed down. I just don't know how valuable that actually is. Like, yeah. Cardinals in the game. Well, let's do it. Play. What is the last card? It's a copper. I really would like to have that copper and hit nine. Well, maybe not. I just want another crown. I haven't squirreled quite enough. Um, I feel like I'm. I mean, I'm losing. I am losing. This. This is. This is me losing. Um, I have nine coins in deck. <laughs> Take that, Cardinal. Can't hit me. I mean, the problem is that you just have, like, way more oomph. Um, Deck-wise. Uh, to, to get things done. At least it seems that way. This has to be crown, maybe, I don't know what. I mean, it's Crown Cardinal, clearly. Um, it's just like, where are we going from here? Whoops, I don't know how things work. Undo that. Problem is, you're getting the last two crowns. Right now. And I can't do a whole lot about it. Um, the thing we can do is we can play Cardinal on your deck if you don't actually uh, draw everything. 
um, which would be, I guess, part of the idea. Um, potentially we clear out three coppers. I have to figure out what I'm buying. I mean, probably you take the last two crowns, which just puts me in a terrible spot. Uh, crown is like the the best card in here by a substantial amount. Um, so probably the move is going to be like start picking up uh, more cardinal and try to get stuff done that way. Um, if we're playing Cardinal twice and Messenger twice, that gives me, what, 8 coins? And I'm going to want, like, 12? Or do I need actually need 12? Probably not. Alright, let's see. Alright. That's nice. Um, I only need eight. I need Swamp Shacks plus Cardinal. So, yeah. I think I have Bishop instead, but. I am drawing everything, I'm not leaving anything to chance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got two crowns. Got two crowns. Um, any gold? You know. Um, we'll see if you leave anything this turn. I doubt it, maybe? Yeah. I guess we'll find out. I'm getting Messenger to Bishop, that's fine. Okay, you did leave something, so I'm at least going to do one card and I'll play. Um, Possibly I do two. I don't like having the rat catchers around because um, oh, this is big. This is big. This is big time. We are clearing stuff out. Squirrel. Play. Messenger. Uh, I think squirrel. Then what? Um. Do I want to trash with the bishop? Is this enough, like, draw? Like, how, how many squirrels have I done? I mean, I've cleared out your cardinal, so that's not actually a concern right now. Uh, but I would still like to, you know, have everything. So I have one, two, I have, I have two squirrels out. Um, that's nine cards. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11. So if I do the squirrel out with messenger, I guess we'd leave one card, but you don't have a cardinal anymore. So I think it ends up working out. Feel free to trash. I mean, <laughs>
Okay. Um, Swamp Shacks and Cardinal. Another one, just like be totally threatening there. I don't think that's nece really necessary. Uh, maybe Patrol if we don't think we're going to maintain the squirrels quite as much. Um, maybe, maybe Swamp Shacks. Mm. I also kind of like to be discarding Cardinals for gold soon. Let me just do another Swamp Shacks. Okay, I came up one card short, but that's totally fine. Um, again, you don't you don't have a Cardinal. So, not a huge deal. I guess the thing we have to watch out for now is that I don't just like leave some dumb pile out. Hopefully the bishop helped somewhat with that. I'm gonna bishop this rat catcher. I'm gonna bishop the rat catcher. I kind of like to discard both cardinals, so that's pretty expensive. Um, that is quest both cardinals. It's expensive on the on the draw front. I don't really know how to score. I just know that I've like taken out a bunch of important pieces for you. Like I've ended up with more crowns. And also you don't have an attack to discard for gold to get your gold back easily. So that's that's another point in, in favor. Um No, I think I think the big thing right now is just gonna be don't don't blow it on the piles, which are which are close. They're close. Um, Still good. But you do need to do a lot of squirrel. I don't know if you're going to do enough squirrel. Well, we'll clear out more cards if needed. Yeah. Alright. Um, first of all, is there going to be a win here? I'm going to have four buys. Um, I can messenger two swamp shacks. No, not quite. All right. Um, second order of business. Um, how are we going to do this turn? We're going to do it like this. Squirrel. Play. Cardinal. Another crown. Holy cow. Um, got a messenger, that's good. Play, bishop, the rat catcher, squirrel, play, messenger, play, okay, that was it. Um, these all, or I guess we do two squirrels here. Right, how many squirrels will I have done? Four. Let's keep very close track. Four squirrels, that means I draw 13 cards. It's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I can put two more cards in. Um, 
So one of them is a gold. So one, two, I've done four squirrels. One, two, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One more card. This card, the most useful card I could put in would be a province? No. Messenger? Probably messenger. Because that gives me the that gives me the ability to win. Uh, if we need more points, we can always bishop for them. And I don't think I've left piles because I put at least... Yeah, you don't have any messengers. So I think we're good. And you have two crowns left. Which is somewhat unlucky, like, that you've missed them, but... Yeah, that's fine. I don't, I don't have cards because I've been counting extre excessively carefully. Make sure that doesn't happen. So I should be able to messenger pile. I don't freaking know what. Uh, I guess messenger now. Messenger, messenger, and rat catcher. Okay. Um. How much money does that require? Let's just think for a moment here. Um, that is going to require 14. Do I have 14? Yeah, easily. Um, we can, we can even just like play, play everything. No, I, I have to do this a little bit carefully. Um, we want to bishop the two swamp shackses. I guess. Messenger play. Messenger play. Bishop, shacks. Bishop, shacks. Play, cardinal, squirrel, just make sure. Uh, 14, I need 14, right? All right, well, we got a 3-3 out of it, which I'm always happy about with these late matches. Um, I don't know, I had two, like, so incredibly unwinnable games in there, so maybe I'm even happier with a 3-3 than that. Um, maybe the fifth one wasn't quite so unwinnable, but holy cow, the, the Souk one was so bad. Um, this one I probably got a little bit fortunate that you kept bottom decking crowns for me to hit, but... I mean, I also didn't give you the opportunity to do that to me, so... Um, um, yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm okay with that result. There were some good things that happened. There were some really bad things that happened, and that's, that's what a match of Dominion is, so... See you all.